This is on hold with Lindy Wang Mongwane. Lindy Wang Mongwane. Lindy Wang Mongwane. On on hold with Lindy Wang Mongwane. Lindy Wang Mongwane. Lindy Wang Mongwane. Hello and welcome. We are still on, on hold with me, Lim Diwe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the videos every week. Trust me, for me, 10 views is a whole celebration. You should see this house. We buy cake and everything. So I really appreciate it very much. And I appreciate you being here, especially this week, because I need you in my life. I need you. But yeah, all right. Um so you know when you are in a situation where you must have that straight talk uh, uh you know uh critical conversation or, or you know you know those conversations that are just serious that you must have with somebody that is very close to you that's where i am i've been trading having this conversation for a while now and i'm confronted with having to do it because i mean it's been dragging and it's not fair okay but i don't know how to do it i've been waiting for the right moment and the moments are not coming i don't know how you guys call your moments so that they align with the conversations that you're supposed to have mine's not happening the universe is not having it and i've tried to create moments most of the time i create my own moments sometimes i force moments because you've got to have the conversation but yeah, I guess I need to go back to that, you know. And I remember when we were back at school and you are in the situation where like somebody does you wrong or you don't like something, the girls will be like, ah, you must do it because, uh, what did they say? Um, straight talk doesn't break any friendship. I, not when you're adults. I think adults are a little bit more sensitive to that. So it didn't work. It, it hasn't worked, you know, so... I don't know. Um, and you know what, what? How you know what happens most when you start um, being cognitive about something? You start seeing it everywhere. It's like you see a car now. You see a specific Mercedes Benz that you like. All of a sudden, you see a whole lot of these cars. Same thing with me. Now I switch on the TV. I watch an episode. There's a conflict. The guy is saying, "How girl? Uh, when were you gonna tell me about your HIV status? You know, if I hadn't found 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 out." And if the relationship has been going on for a while. And I'm sitting there thinking, Enevele, when is the right time? You know, uh, and what do you say? I don't know. I change. I go to another uh, a movie. It's supposed to be a comedy. Halfway there, then the next thing, there's another conflict. The guy wants to tell the, the wife that the, uh, there's a child outside of marriage. And he doesn't know how to and when. Time is moving. They are, you know, things are happening. And he has to do this. He doesn't know how. And then Chiki I watch another show and a girl who's still dependent on um, her parents for support and financial support is now pregnant and is dreading telling the parents what to do and is thinking maybe after three months, maybe they won't say I'm going to support the child and hey, hey, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So it's clear that it's time. I must confront the conversation. But yeah, on, and honestly, the reason why I haven't done it, um, to be honest, is just selfish reasons. Because I'm not ready to deal with the reaction of the, the other person, how they're going to react. I'm not ready for that. Um, and also, I'm thinking worst case scenario. I mean, what if the, 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 the relationship or the friendship goes sour or they don't speak to me again? I mean, what am I going to do? I mean, we know that um, relationships have, you know, it's a give and take. You, 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 you gain something from a relationship as much as you give. So obviously, I'm afraid of losing what I'm gaining from this. I'm not ready for that. I don't have a plan B for what I'm gaining for this. And obviously, I'm still enjoying the relationship. I don't want to lose it. So honestly, it's all selfish reasons. Um, but that doesn't justify not having the conversation so i don't know guys you tell me how do you do it how have you done it what's worked for you what hasn't worked for you have you i know you've been in situations i'm not even going to ask if you have you been you have but how have you handled it um i'm being a coward right now oh and by the way i still haven't had the conversation okay i'm still gathering courage i'm praying through my selfishness and um Hoping the universe can just throw me a moment. 
um but i am working on moments so just wanted to share that with you because i know we go through that and wonder if you are like me still hanging on to a conversation that you're supposed to be having or supposed to have had by now um and haven't done that and why because you're also protecting yourself so what are you going to do so i know i'm not alone in this i know i know for sure so talk to me about it help me please i would really appreciate you thank you guys have a brilliant week